Hey y'all, Eric and Angie here at SHOT Show 2023. Shooting time, oh it's shooting time, get my air. Hey y'all, Airgun Angie. I'm here with Bill at Scout Airguns. He's the owner, so he's going to know everything about this, and he's here to tell us. What do you got, Bill? Well, we'll start out with the valve. It's a very unique valve system. So this is the valve in the gun. It pulls off the surface 45 thousandths of an inch. Now, it has a 400 thousandths orifice, which is very large for air gun. Most air guns, if you had that size orifice to open the valve, you'd need a sledgehammer. Yep. So basically, the trick to an air rifle, in our opinion, is get the valve open quickly and get the valve closed quickly so you get a very crisp shot. There's very little to go wrong because this is our only moving piece. So there's no sear in the gun. There's no hammer in the gun. Oh, wow. There's almost, it's, it's really simple. On top of that, our regulators, so this is the low pressure regulator, which regulates to about 170, 100 to 175 PSI, it's adjustable. And that's adjusting the pop from the solenoid to open the valve. It's not the only adjustment. The other piece of that adjustment is an electronic adjustment called dwell, which is how long that valve stays open. Okay. Our second regulator is a high pressure regulator. It's unique though in that with most air rifles, you need to degas the plenum before you uh, adjust the regulator in one direction. Right. Ours are designed, balancing regulator uses a small amount of air from one side of the piston and pops it to the other side of the piston. And that allows you to actually turn this up and down at will without having Sweet. to dig out. That's now, amazing. On four of these bolts to the air chamber that sits back here, you're in the valve within three and a half minutes. So it's wow. very easy to work on. Super simple. Now, so the barrels come in 25 inch and 35 inch. For most air gunners, that's 625 millimeters for not or 889 millimeters, the long gun. Uh, every gun comes with a compensator. We have a num a large number of ports and angles that dump the gases back into this tube. But beyond that, we also have an element within the compensator that changes for caliber. So we have a shredder. Wow. Okay, and this is the 30 cal. So you would replace the shredder for the different calibers, and then the, the rear piece here that takes your pro to change your um, your caliber. It right. lets you tune the barrel to the pellet as well as tune the gun. It also doesn't lead like a normal barrel because the lead can't stick to it. Ah. So it, it doesn't need to be cleaned as often. Nice. Hold this, which releases your ratchet. You pull up this other end, a little off here. You know, pull it down for a second. Yep. Pull this end up, and then the barrel comes right up. Oh, wow. Out. Okay, slide it back in, ratchet it back in place, and you're good to go. Now, why we have this, the, uh, feel this, uh, so, feel, let's get this back, feel this magazine, feel how it goes in there. Magnet strike right into place. Oh, All right. Oh, so that's there's no alignment, yeah, it's very, cool. very simple. <laughs> the, um, uh, the average person can figure out very quickly how to tune this gun. Because of that valving system, it's nothing like any other gun, so the tune is actually simpler. And uh, so now, let's go into the So would you say you dumbed it down for us? No, I think I made it a lot smarter for you. There you go. All That's right? a better way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> but, all right. So now, just touch this trigger. That's your lighter. That's your pull. Wow. Let me turn it on so you can hear. So it talks to you, of course. All right. So all the Very settings... Cool. As you make your settings, it'll tell you feed. It'll give you feedback. It'll also give you uh, feedback. For example, fire fault because see, it knows the bolt's open. It now knows the bolt's closed. And to make now feel this trigger now, feel how light it is. To make that safe, we have to make that safe. So there's an actuator switch here that you have to hit before you can fire the gun. So basically, nice. you hit this, then you can pull. All right, and that way if you're hunting, we have three modes. We have hunt, match, and limit. So in hunt mode, you have to hit this every time. So if you're walking through the woods, you don't accidentally hit your trigger and fire. In a, um, in a um, match mode, 
say we're shooting bench 25 minutes, we can set that timer for 25 minutes, it'll stay on. And oh then gosh. a limit mode allows you to set your own time. Say you wanted it to be a two minute window. You could set that up for whatever window you need. On top of that, other features um, that you might appreciate. If a gun sits for half an hour, 15 minutes, half an hour, there's what we call, we call it stiction, but it's um, basically the O-rings take a set and the first shot tends to be a little bit different than the following shots. Okay. So we give you a programming capability called first shot draw. And what that does is it's, it gives you a time you set and then on that first shot it adds four milliseconds of dwell fire or additional push to the solenoid so you can overcome that, that friction and actually count on your first wow. shot. Um, let's see, so there's a number of settings in here, but from a programming standpoint, what I do to program this gun, it's really easy, turn it off. All right, I hold this button in and power with the bolt open. I hold this button in and power up. Now I'm into my menus and as I hit this button, it'll cycle through the different Oh wow. And this is the dwell setting. It's now at 22 to the menu mode and then shut it down and it, it remembers all the settings. So that's pretty neat. So it's like the smart guns of guns. Like that's super amazing. And a lot of this is like over my head, but I know a guy that would absolutely mm -hmm. love tinkering with this thing. Rick Utzler from Airgun Web. Uh, really? he, he, uh. Yeah, he's, he'd love it. We and I, I a, would love checking it out too, but a lot of this stuff I'm like, overload. There's so much awesomeness here, guys. All the tools you'll need for the gun. You get an Allen cat, you get the special grease. This is the place for your magazine. Next. And then of course you get, come on. Yes. We give you lots of extra spares. O-rings, we only use urethane O-rings. It's a big deal if you, you know the difference between butte O-ring and urethane. Give you an extra spring for your magazine. Special tools for taking your barrel and your valve out and a charging port. Oh, from the battery standpoint. So, the, so one charge of a battery, if you shot a thousand rounds a week, will last you over four months. And it takes 40 minutes to charge the battery. You might appreciate uh, pressures. So my favorite caliber, is 30 caliber, 44 grain JSPs. Joe I, will appreciate that. Yeah, I love <laughs> to shoot the 35 inch barrel because I can shoot those JSPs at 915 feet per second at basically 73 bar or 1,100 pounds per square inch in the plenum. That's wow. extremely low. That low pressure makes the gun really smooth and quiet. And um, so we, we're able to achieve very low pressures because the valve's so large. What's the max fill pressure on the tank? 4,300. 4,300, yep. okay. Yes, 4, oh, and, and uh, efficiency. Um, so we do our efficiency testing with 51.1 grain, 0.15 grain, 40 ca uh, 30 caliber, sl um, not slugs, uh, pellets. We get, a, we get 100 shots. Nice. So that gives you a feel for, that's, that's pretty efficient. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it sounds like you have some pretty awesome products there. I am, that's super exciting to me. I don't know, if, I'm not like the air gun wizard. It sounds like you are, <laughs> but that's super exciting. I so appreciate you going over this with us. Uh -huh. well, and thank you. Thank you so much. Yep. Well, guys, that was it. You guys should definitely check them out. Website is scoutairguns.com. Go check them out. I'm Airgun Angie. I'm with Bill from Scout Airguns. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day, have an awesome one. See ya.